Radioactive sludge has been detected in 16 prefectures around Japan as a result of a crisis at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The contaminated sludge, which comes from soil washed by rain into drains, is now being stored at waste treatment plants. 22 of Japan's 47 prefectures have told NHK they have been testing sludge for radioactivity, and 16, ranging from Hokkaido in the north to Osaka in the west, have detected radioactivity. The level of radioactive cesium was highest in Fukushima City at 447,000 becquerels per kilogram, followed by Tokyo at 55,000 becquerels, and Maebashi, north of Tokyo, at 42,800 becquerels. The problem of contaminated sludge is new in Japan, and there are currently no national safety guidelines. Last month, the government decided that as an emergency measure, sludge with levels of radioactivity about 100,000 becquerels should be incinerated and then stored. The problem of contaminated sludge is new in Japan, and there are currently no national safety guidelines. Last month, the government decided that as an emergency measure, sludge with levels of radioactivity about 100,000 becquerels should be incinerated and then stored. But that measure only applies inside the Fukushima prefecture. Other prefectures and municipalities are now demanding that the government promptly adopt guidelines on how contaminated sludge should be handled. Operator of the Fukushima Daiichi plant says tiny amounts of plutonium have been detected in samples of soil in the plant's compound. This is the third time that plutonium has been detected in the soil at the plant since the nuclear accident began on March 11th. TEPCO announced on Tuesday that an independent research institution analyzed soil samples taken on May 30th from three locations. Plutonium was detected in samples collected near a recreational ground and a waste disposal facility, both about 500 meters from the number one reactor. The level of plutonium-238 detected near the recreational ground was 0.19 becquerels of kilo, or rather 0.19 becquerels per kilogram, a figure that is down from April. The utility said the amounts are too small and do not pose a risk to human health. If plutonium is inhaled or ingested, it can remain in the body for a long period of time and may cause cancer. I swear, you'll never see me again! The health ministry says that another 23 workers at the troubled Fukushima plant may have been exposed internally to over 100 millisieverts of radiation. I told Tokyo Electric Power Company to relieve from duty the workers who were internally exposed to more than 100 millisieverts of radiation. The ministry also instructed TEPCO on Tuesday to have the workers undergo medical exams. The ministry said keeping the employees at the plant may push their exposure over the temporary limit of 250 millisieverts. The government increased the limit for plant workers from 100 millisieverts after the nuclear accident in March as an emergency measure. TEPCO previously announced that two employees were exposed to over 600 millisieverts. On Monday, the firm said that six more workers were thought to have been exposed to up to about 500 millisieverts. TEPCO is screening about 3,700 workers at the plant for exposure. The tests for about 600 have not yet been completed. The ministry is urging the firm to finish the tests by June 20th and submit the results. <laughs> Canada has lifted all restrictions on food imports from Japan. The controls were imposed after the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. The Canadian government said on Monday it had confirmed the safety of Japanese food as all the products it tested were below Canada's radiation limits. Japan's agriculture ministry says Canada had demanded documents to verify the safety of all products imported from Fukushima, Ibaraki and 10 other prefectures. Canada is the first country to remove the restrictions. 
But 40 nations and territories continue to restrict food imports from Japan following the nuclear accident. The ministry will urge the nations and territories still maintaining restrictions to make scientific judgments based on the results of radiation monitoring. At the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, test runs have begun on a system for treating radioactive water. A device that absorbs cesium is reported to be working well. TEPCO has invented a new element that will be known as slesium. Early Tuesday morning, Tokyo Electric Power Company began testing the U.S.-made equipment, starting first with relatively low-level radioactive water. This equipment is one part of the water treatment system that TEPCO is introducing. Analyses of the treated water found that after about 10 hours, cesium levels had dropped to about one three thousandth. From Wednesday, TEPCO also plans to start using a French-made chemical decontamination agent on the system. More than 105,000 tons of highly radioactive water was built up at the plant, and TEPCO says it may run out of space to store it in about two weeks. A series of malfunctions delayed the start of the test by four days. TEPCO is hoping to reduce the test period by a day so it can put the system into operation on Friday and start treating the highly radioactive water. <laughs> Japanese operators of nuclear power plants have compiled a set of measures to prevent severe accidents, including hydrogen explosions at reactors. On Tuesday, 10 power firms submitted reports to the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency on measures that be should be taken immediately to address possible severe accidents like those at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The reports say that to avoid hydrogen blasts, some utilities are installing equipment that can rip holes in reactor buildings to remove hydrogen. Once you start asking questions, you can't stop. They will also set up hydrogen density gauges inside reactor buildings. The reports say that even if all electricity sources are lost, the utility firms will use power generating vehicles to activate ventilators to prevent radioactive substances from entering control rooms. The emergency power source will also be used to maintain communication with the control rooms. The firms will also secure special protective gear that will allow workers to operate in highly radioactive environments. They will also deploy large construction machinery to swiftly dispose of debris scattered by hydrogen explosions. The agency plans to assess the preventive measures after inspecting nuclear plants across the country on Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> Ugh! <laughs>